Hi, my name is Paris Brandes and I'm a PhD student at the University of Sydney. Our paper that was recently published in the new Open Access Journal Gigabyte focuses on the creation of the first reference genome for the Antichinus genus. Antichinus is small mouse-like marsupials with a variety of species found commonly throughout the east coast of Australia. They may be small, but they are packed full of unique biological traits that make them a super interesting organism to study. For instance, antichinus are one of the only mammalian genera to exhibit the rare reproductive strategy known as semel parity. Semel parity species only reproduce once in their lifetime, and in the case of the antichinus, a complete die-off of all males occurs right after the breeding season. This extreme life history strategy makes the antichinus an ideal model to investigate the interplay between key biological processes such as stress, immunity, and reproduction, and to better understand how these processes are modulated at the genetic level. In addition to being an excellent model for extreme life history trade-offs, antichinus have also been proposed as an ideal model species to study the physiology of aging, particularly for the dementias associated with aging, such as Alzheimer's disease. This is because previous studies have shown that both male and female antichinus naturally develop age-related neuropathologies similar to those seen in humans. So overall, our aim was to create the first reference genome for the antichinus to facilitate its use as a model species for future research. Using linked tree technologies, we were able to assemble a genome with a scaffold M50 of 72.7 megabases, and we were able to identify just under one megabase of Y chromosome sequence using a bioinformatic approach. This represents the most complete Y chromosome sequence data we currently have for any marsupial species, and will be useful for future research wanting to investigate male reproductive genes in the antichinus. We also obtained transcriptome data from five female and five male tissues and found that a number of key Alzheimer's associated genes were expressed in the antichinus brain. We hope that future research will be able to use these results in the antichinus genome as a springboard to better understand age-related neurodegeneration and extreme life history trade-offs, which could have important implications for both humans and other wildlife. If you would like to find out more, please read our recent paper in Gigabyte.